Hey guys, so today's video is a video on my favorite foundations, current favorites. If I went ahead and did my all time favorite foundations, this video would last forever because I have a lot of favorite foundations. One of my friends requested me to do a favorite foundations video, so I am doing that right now. And most are budget friendly, they're not very expensive. There's one here that's high end, but um, everything else is below 1,000 peso. Some of them I don't know the price, but um, I'm gonna search them for you and they will be in the description bar. So if you wanna know where you can get them and how much they cost, then check the description bar. Now let's get into the video. So I've categorized my favorite foundations into three categories. The first one is mattifying foundations. I have combination to oily skin, so foundations that really mattify my face are a very big yes to me. The second category, just give me a light to medium coverage and they look very natural on my skin. The last category is full coverage foundation because this is the only one that actually does give me intense full coverage and really covers everything in one application. So let's start with the first category which is the mattifying foundations. These are the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation and then the other one is this Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. So let's talk about the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. It is a sponge consistency it's really bouncy it's really soft what I like about this is it's really smooth and it dries to a powder finish so when I use this I don't powder my face anymore I only set my concealer with the Ben Nye banana powder and that's it what's good about this foundation as well is it's really really light on your skin when I wear this and I don't have like too much powder on like my bronzers or my blush and I just do like a natural eye I feel like I'm not wearing any makeup. It feels like you've only got like a swipe of translucent powder on your face. It's that light. It has um, light to medium coverage. With one application, you get a light coverage, but if you keep applying more, you can definitely build this foundation up. It covers everything that I need it to cover. So it's overall a great foundation, light to medium coverage. Um, it dries to a powder finish and it's very, very lightweight and I love this foundation. It definitely mattifies my skin. So the next mattifying foundation is this one. It's definitely a matte foundation. It doesn't dry to a powder finish so I do have to powder this after I apply. This was definitely made for combination oily skin. It says it has buildable coverage suitable for sensitive skin, which is true. It didn't break me out at all. It's oil free and it's non comedogenic. It is a pretty pretty light color for me, but it did um, suit my skin tone a while back and I still use this to date, but I mix it in with a darker liquid foundation just so I get the perfect color. So this does give me a really flawless matte finish. I always got complimented with my skin. People would always ask me what foundation I'm using, what makeup am I using, can I tell them my secrets, stuff like that. It was this. For a while, I used this nonstop because it was so good. So I have two of them. You can definitely get a dewy look with this as well. If you put like a little bit of cream highlight on or a liquid highlight, you will definitely get that dewy finish without being super greasy and oily. So if you have oily skin and you wanna look dewy, try this foundation out because you can definitely get from matte to dewy finish with this foundation. So moving on to the next category, which is the natural finish or light to medium coverage foundations. I'm going to start with the two that I mix with the Mary Kay foundation whenever I wanna use it. These two, I'm gonna start with this one. It's a foundation stick from Fashion 21 and it is in the color Warm Tea. The only time I use this is when I want to bronze up my face. I would use this to sort of contour. So I apply this onto the temples right above my cheekbone like that because when I blend it out, it sort of gets dragged around. Like put it right here and under my jawline as well. It doesn't have any coverage and once you blend it out, with a buffing brush. What's left is just the color, so it doesn't have any coverage at all. I only use this to bronze up my face, but because 
foundations here in the Philippines are very, very light. I find that I have to use this almost all the time. This type of foundation is actually one of my all-time favorites, which is L'Oreal's True Match Foundations. That was the first ever foundation I ever started using. This foundation here is a lot darker than my skin, and I started using this in the summer. Like, I can use this on its own in the summer when my skin is really tan. But nowadays, when my skin is like the same color as it always is, I use this and mix it with my other foundations, like the Mary Kay one. True Match Foundation itself, um, it's really, really blendable. It does really blend into your skin. It's perfect for beginners, especially if you don't know anything about foundations yet. I recommend you to try the L'Oreal True Match one. Get something that's close to your skin tone. It will just blend into your skin. If you check your wrist and you have more green veins, then you have a warm skin tone. Get something that's that starts with W. And if you have more blue veins, then you have a cool skin tone and you get something that starts with C. And then if you have a mix of both, you can't really tell if there's more blue or more green, then you are neutral. You can use both, you can mix them together, you can use one or the other, it doesn't matter. So another product in this category is a powder foundation. And it's the Camera Finish Powder Foundation and I'm in the color Look 4. It's a pretty old product. Um, you can't really tell that the branding is on here, but it's just by Napoleon. For me, powder foundations kind of act like mineral foundations where it's just a loose powder. What I do with this is I take the buffing brush that I use to blend in my um, foundation and I buff the powder into my skin clockwise and then counterclockwise. I find that when I do this, it gives me a lot more coverage and I can really target the areas of my face where I want the most coverage. And it looks super natural and it's not heavy at all. I usually use this when I'm just running errands, going to the grocery or gonna watch a movie, but I still want a little bit of makeup on my face. I am down to my last foundation and the last category, which is the full coverage foundation. Okay. It's the MAC Pro Long Wear Foundation, and I am in the color NC40. Yes, I do get full coverage with this. It definitely lasts the whole day. It lasts so long on my face. One thing I don't like about it, though, is it's really, really heavy. And also, it's really, really sticky. I only use this when I go out at night or when I know I need my foundation to stay on the whole day. That's the only time I use this foundation. I do like it, though. It works well with my skin. So yeah, those are my current favorite foundation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned anything or if you want to try out any of the foundations that I mentioned, please like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. At the end of the video, if you want to subscribe, you can click this little logo right here. Follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All of my links are down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Start with a pencil. It's easier to clean up and a lot more forgivable than liquid eyeliner. Do short strokes and connect the dots starting at the outer edge where it should be.